If you guys see this video, that means I've made it a significant amount of time. How you doing? It hurts. Yeah? It hurts really bad. <laughs> we pulled in in the dark, didn't realize what we were getting ourselves into. We're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife traveling creative duo on a mission to experience as much in life as possible. This channel is dedicated to documenting our adventures that will turn into memories that will last a lifetime. We're inviting you to join us as we try new things, meet new friends, and see the world from a new point of view, one adventure at a time. Let's go. Sarah woke up and said, I want to do something today. Sarah, huh. what are we doing? <laughs> About to go bike a thousand miles in 10 days. That's the plan. I don't know if I'll make it. I haven't trained cycling wise in a long time, but I'm turning 30 in a few weeks. And 30 is hitting hard, not because I mind getting older, but I feel like especially coming out of like 2020, I felt like for a while my life was put on hold and I had this, I have this long list of things I want to do in life and I feel like I haven't accomplished a lot of them, but not necessarily that I haven't hit these major life mile markers. I just miss doing something hard. Like I miss pushing myself. It's been a long time since I've biked across the country or really trained for a full marathon or something like that. It's been a few years. And I told Chris, I was like, we're out in the desert. The weather's perfect. I just want to get on my bike and go. Starting tomorrow, at this rate, I should be in Dallas or Austin, like, I think Austin-ish is like the thousand mile mark, um, right around Thanksgiving. We'll see. This is the first time I've checked the box to make sure that I actually have everything I need. I told Chris, I was like, oh, I'll totally check it before we leave REI in Tucson. And I never did. So we're gonna go through it, make sure I have everything I need. Got four water bottles, which is more than enough. I can only carry two, because I have two cages on my bike. It is breezy out here. Unfortunately, that's gonna be a crosswind tomorrow. I've got my shoes. And we, if you guys watched our Natchez Trace cycling trip, you will know that we are not fancy cyclists. All of our gear has always been hand-me-down and mismatched and <laughs> clearance and that kind of thing. And I kind of love that about it, but everything we have is pretty basic. Uh, my bike, see, I need to put that on. Chain lube, just in case. I have four extra bike tubes. My record is, I think I popped two or three in a day one time. Bike lights, extra batteries for the bike lights, but that is empty, so hopefully I don't need those. We're so prepared. This is my life in a nutshell. Um, chamois butter, or as most people refer to it as, butt butter. And this is the Euro style, so it has a little bit of menthol in it, so it tingles. <laughs> you feel real fresh when you're not. The goal is to just bike a thousand miles. And where we're starting is just east of Tucson. Um, so it's gonna be mostly desert. Tomorrow we're actually gonna bike to the Mexico border. The goal is just, I'd love to do a thousand miles in 10 days. Now I haven't done a century ride, which is a hundred miles in three or four years. It's been a long time. Worst case scenario, I don't make it, but the idea is I wanna push myself. And we can talk more about this later, but I'm just gonna get my bike and go. Kramer's not real sure what's happening. So something you guys probably heard us say in, in over the years and stuff is that we like doing things for more than just ourselves, which is easy to lose when you're just sort of like having to produce videos all the time and you're busy, busy, busy. But if we could have it our way, we would produce fewer videos. And sometimes we do, but we love producing fewer videos, but we'd love to be able to do more of a give back component. I wanna get a few days into the ride to make sure I'm gonna make it, but the goal, if you guys see this video, that means I've made it a significant amount of time. I told Chris we can't release this video until I'm at least like four days <laughs> into the ride. So we've picked a nonprofit to partner with for this ride. If you guys haven't heard of them, it's called Love Does. We'll explain more about Love Does later, but there's gonna be a give back component. Don't feel like you have to give. It's a really cool cause. But now I'm gonna finish my bike. making spaghetti for dinner. 
which is a good chance to say that in 2022, September 2022, I think it's the 5th through 13th, we're taking some of y'all to Italy with us. So Trevor Trip reached out and asked if we wanted to host a couple trips next year. So we're doing Iceland and Italy. And Iceland's almost completely booked up. But Italy still has spots left and we do need to get that trip locked in. So if you're interested in going, be sure to sign up soon. But one of the things on the agenda is a pasta cooking class. And I am so excited because I am a terrible cook, y'all. Like if you've been around here for a while, you know this. But to be able to learn to make one of my favorite foods in the land that it's from, it's just like, it's gonna be fun. So I'm so excited. Sign up, link is uh, all the information, itinerary, hotel details, all that's down below. Did they understand that or is that too fast? No, I think they understood it. If you like pasta, if you like to eat, and maybe if you like us, you don't have to like us, make sure you sign up to Italy. And the next thing that you're gonna see is tomorrow morning when she's gonna start her ride. I'm carbo-loading. Feeling sick? Yeah, I don't feel great. I'm better. I can tell I'm better, but it's just gonna take a little while to get everything out, so it is what it is. I don't want to stop and take it easy on myself, listen to my body. If I get too winded too easily, I'll take it easy. I know a lot of y'all are gonna see I have headphones in and get mad. I'm not listening to anything. I'm using these so that if I need Chris, I can just quickly call him from there. Should have cell service today. But I'm using these instead of my AirPods because they won't die. And I can wrap them around my helmet so I'm not fiddling with them constantly. It's always been my trick is like wrap it around the strap so like it's never more than like right there. And just put it right back in. All right. Are you ready? Right. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Nugget. There's a good nugget. All right, boys. I'm off. Right. I love you. I love you too. Please, Please. be careful. Thank no, you. you need to be careful. I will. Thank you, Chris. All right, I'm going. How do I get out of here? I love you. <laughs> too. Bye. I'll see you soon. Okay. myself excited for what am I gonna see today that's one of my favorite things about cycling is you don't know what the road's gonna show you it may be the nicest people it may be the meanest drivers it may be some funny thing on the side of the road ah but I love the adventure and the spontaneity of not knowing what's coming up like I don't know what's a mile in front of me there's something terrifying about that but I just love it I love waking up and just not knowing what the day's gonna hold. It's like being a kid. I love it. You just gonna watch her leave like that? All right, it's been 20 minutes. Just did all the water chores, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm gonna go find her. You ready to go find mom? All right, let's see if we can find Sarah. Okay. Oh, Sarah's 12 miles away. Cool. So there I am. And there's Sarah. Got 
Money sticks in our hands, moving over broken land. Cross the deserts in the sand, waste land to understand the command in the difference of the body, mind, flesh, soul, spirit. Tell me if you hear it. You could tell me if you fear it. Please, brother, move near it. Don't let your dark conscience clear it. I'm talking about the Sorry, I got a fireball in my mouth. This looks like a good place to stop for Sarah. She's about a mile away. I wasn't able to get the camera out because, you know, she's biking. How you feeling? Pretty good. Whew, that was a hilly section. It just steady climbed. I was like, I don't look like I'm climbing. I looked at my watch. I was like, oh, it's climbing. Whew. Obviously, I'm warming up a little bit. Yeah. You feeling okay? <clears throat> I feel great. I feel really good. I'm hungry, so I was gonna grab a snack really fast. My stomach just growled. Why is he in prison? Free Kramer! Free Kramer! All right, so this is a good question for everybody. Chris and I really wanna do like a bike packing trip, whether it's like bike packing across the country or, you know, just a section, like maybe down on the West Coast or something like that. But our biggest constraint with traveling is the puppy. He goes everywhere with us. But, and that's not a problem, like even traveling internationally, like he flies with us and stuff, but a bike is a lot more difficult. And I know some of y'all are gonna be like, don't do that. And some of y'all are like, you have to do that. But get a trailer for Kramer, they make dog trailers. And I think that'd be so fun to have Kramer bike with us. Obviously not on busy roads, like I'm talking like way back roads. But how many of y'all think we should take Kramer on a bike trip with us? He would love it. It'd be like riding with his head out the window all day. Wouldn't you? You wanna go on a bike trip? Look at the mess you've made in this van. You all right? Yeah, shoulders are up. I'm just taking the lane when I have visibility. Okay. We're eating fireball. Now's the perfect time to tell you a little bit more about Love Does. Love Does is a nonprofit we've loved and supported for years. Their mission is to serve some of those in the most difficult, conflict-torn zones in the world, including Nepal, Somalia, Afghanistan, Iraq, and more. So we're inviting you to donate what you can, even if that's a dollar. If you can't donate anything, Please learn about the people we're biking for and share their story with others in hopes of spreading awareness for those who need a little extra care in this crazy world we live in. It is so quiet on this road. We're currently about 17 miles from our campsite. Kramer and I are pulled off. Say hey, Kramer. <laughs> Kramer and I are pulled off on the side of the road waiting for Sarah. Um, this is one of the only times that we've never had cell service. So I'm just kind of sitting here and waiting. And it's one of the most nerve wracking times because you know, your mind starts racing, you know, something could happen with the bike, something could happen with Sarah, something, you know, some some problem could happen and there's no way to get a hold of me or her and I'm not able to track her. This has to be one of the prettiest sections I've ever biked. One of the most relaxing for being like normal state highways. <laughs> the roads are incredibly quiet 
incredibly smooth and the views are beautiful. So normally in this situation, it's just a waiting game. And when it gets to be a little longer than what I'm comfortable with, then I head back and make sure she's not on the side of the road or something like that. These mountains are amazing and the weather is perfect. It's like 70 degrees and sunny and I'm having the time of my life. I just am so happy right now. It is so quiet here that when you finally do hear a car pass, it's almost just deafening. I should be like 10 miles from the New Mexico border. So making really good time, I'm averaging like 21 miles an hour right now, which is pretty fast for me. <laughs> so it feels really good. I'm just, this is amazing. I'm so glad I did this today. This is so beautiful here. I'm very jealous of Sarah right now because her scenery on the bike, I mean, this is a gorgeous bike ride to do. Look at this. an hour just like cruising along there's a six mile per hour tailwind right now which is obviously helping some but this road is so much fun i miss you out here i know i'm jealous i haven't wanted to stop to take walks i'm just like i told hi you've got bike grease in your ear boy he's okay he's okay you looking beautiful 10 miles wow it is moving Sarah. Yes. You made it to New Mexico. Woohoo! I feel really good. I think I was really nervous because this was very much a spontaneous idea that we had. And I was worried that my body wouldn't hold up. And who knows what it'll do tomorrow. But so far today, I feel so much stronger than I ever thought I would. That tailwind helped. Gives you a little bit of fake self esteem, I guess. I don't know. Artificial self esteem. Anyway. I'm tired now. Sun's going down quickly. It's cooling off. I'm ready to go. Good morning. So when we got to this campsite last night, um, we pulled in in the dark. We didn't realize what we were getting ourselves into. And this is one of the reasons why we love traveling so much because you get to see these weird quirky things and you're like i had no clue this was here and why is this here first thing we notice in the morning is there's all these rvs and they have these huge telescopes and we're in one of the darkest parts of the country right now so people come out here and they view the stars and they have their own telescopes which is pretty cool and very unique and then there's this this campground has campground has all these different birds. Like, look, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> Again, there's no explanation for why they have these birds, 
why it's here in the middle of the desert. It's stuff we see. There's also a pretty nasty wind advisory happening right now. They said gusts up to 35 miles an hour. I feel like Al Roker. Ooh, that wind. <laughs> Yay. I would choose to bike the same mountain 10 times in a day than battle a headwind for an hour. I hate headwinds. I'm gonna do it though. All right. <clears throat> So the route from Tucson area to Dallas is technically more like 12 or 1300 miles. So we knew we were gonna shuttle at least a little bit of it. And the portion that we chose to shuttle was the New Mexico portion, uh, at least part of New Mexico for a few reasons, but mostly because it's not part of the official Southern tier route from Adventure Cycling. So it was not as much was known about it. Um, also there's no cell service at all. And Chris is trying to work. So, and there's nowhere to camp. Like besides the place we stayed at last night, there's like, 150 miles of nothing. Um, anyway, we're like 80 miles or 100 miles outside El Paso. I'm gonna hop on the bike and ride. The winds are crazy. In fact, there's a wind advisory out in El Paso today for gusts up to 45 miles per hour. It's gonna be a headwind for me because it's coming from the east. I'm going due east today. That'll be fun. But <clears throat> cycling's not always fun. That's why we love putting a purpose and a mission behind some of our activities, like with Love Does, because it gives us something to buy for. It's not just about having fun. It's a reminder that I'm doing this for something other than just myself. Um, and it's a good motivator when you're out there and battling. So anyway, I hop on my bike. I may be taking breaks more often today. Texas should be like, what, 60 miles up or something? Yeah. Woohoo! All right. Texas forever. Texas forever. Okay, I love you. I'll love see you soon. You. All right, love you. Be safe. I will. Bye. Bye. Ah! How you doing? It hurts. Yeah? It hurts really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Headwind the whole way? Yeah. Headwinds, but then like every now and then, like a couple times now I've seen like dust, little dust tornadoes, and it'll like come closer and the dust will disappear, but then I'll still feel the wind, like it'll like swirl around me and just like throws you from every side. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> but yeah, headwind's no joke. Yesterday I was cruising, feeling easy at 21 miles an hour, and today I am struggling to go 12. I'm averaging like 8 to 12, depending on how bad the wind is. So it's, I mean, it's a killer. It's not so cold anymore, but wind is like, it hurts. I feel it on my neck. I'm just kind of like hanging on for dear life the whole time. Chris parked to the side of the road, and it was, it's so flat out here that it looked like I was never getting in closer. It doesn't help, it feels like I'm not moving at all on the bike right now, but I was like, this is never gonna end. <laughs> I can see him like three miles up. All right, uh, my eyes are watering from the wind and sunscreen. <coughs> I just had a coughing fit too. I'm gonna go and bike another two miles or a hundred. One of my practices I started doing years ago on a bike is when I was battling the headwinds, my mind instantly goes to, I was just really mad, I was really angry. And I had a middle school teacher one time who got me into journaling and my goal, like he made us journal a page every day. And one day I was just trying to fill up the pages and I started listing off things that I was thankful for, like I had loved. Just like snow, hot chocolate, sunny days, swinging on swings, like stuff like that. And so I started doing the same thing on my bike where I just started like listing off these things and not only did it like, 
were they happy thoughts, but it started getting my mind thinking on like trails off of like sunny days. I love sunny days, summer's coming up. I get to go swimming, swimming, that means beach, Florida. And it's just like, all these little things started like trailing my thoughts and I love that. So I started doing that for me. Like, I don't know what it looks like for you, but for me, I start thinking about those things I love and I pray about it and I'm thankful for it. And it's just, it gets you mentally in a better place and it puts you in a position of gratitude and thankfulness, which is perfect because Thanksgiving is a week from the day, which is crazy. I can't believe it's a week away, but that's what I've been out here doing. So I'm just being thankful for sunshine and healthy legs and a bike at all. Like I didn't even have an, hadn't had a new bike since I was a kid until I got this one for my first tour. So just thankful for all the things today. Just not the head one. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go. Love you. I love you too. So hungry. So hungry. Never earned Mexican food so much in my life. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. This is really good. I could totally live in Mexico. I think this is as close as I can get to Mexico. See the flag? It's a huge Mexican flag. That's so cool to be this close. I've never been to Mexico and I've always wanted to go. That's as close as we can get. So we kind of divided up this bike trip into three different legs. This is the end of leg one. Leg one was gonna be all about biking along the Mexican border, which we've kind of been doing for the last three days. We will a little bit more today, but after that we start heading east towards Austin. But man. That's so cool. So you can see the flag there, and there's the border, and then that was a fun leg. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy the first leg of this trip because people talk about like biking along like southern Arizona and southern New Mexico as being kind of boring. But I thought it was gorgeous, didn't you? Like the sunsets and the sunrises have just been breathtaking, and it's just, it's been such a fun leg. And the people have all been really nice, of course. Like everybody down here has just been so welcoming, hospitable, and there's been really good food, as you already saw. So we, I think we've really enjoyed this leg. I'm excited to see what's next. I don't really know what's ahead for leg two at all. So let's get going. Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.